And our tonight, it's an easy recipe to do as long as you've got some chicken breast, which everybody has at home. Cut them up into some pieces. I've tossed them in here with some cornstarch and then an egg in there. And we'll finish it off with some more cornstarch here in just a second. But first of all, what I want to show you is the sauce that I've combined. The sauce has hoisin, has soy sauce, it has uh, rice vinegar in it, it has garlic, it has ginger, and it also has some brown sugar in there as well. That's all been mixed together. I did actually just add in the cornstarch directly into it, or you can create a slurry and pour it in at the end of it. I'm just gonna bring it all to a boil, let it thicken it up, and that is going to be good for the general chow sauce. You can throw in some red pepper flakes if you want to in there. Uh, for spice, whatever you want to do, it's just up to you. Now, as far as the cornstarch now, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more. You want to just add enough on there so that it's going to coat that again so it's nice and dry. You don't want to add this cold or this gooey chicken mixture for the most part into the deep fryer. And so we'll just mix that together so that it comes together and my oil is good and hot here I had to turn off the stove there too because it was beginning to smoke when I was just over there and so this is looking good and let's take this over and actually just begin to fry up uh, these chicken pieces you're gonna cook them until they are completely cooked through you can deep fry them if you want to but I thought it'd be nice just do it in the wok in batches. I also have some rice that is ready to go. I put together a little cucumber and tomato salad to go with it. That's just an optional thing. You can put whatever you want to go with it. I've salted and peppered the chicken just to taste, just lightly, because remember the sauce has a lot of the seasoning in it. So it has a lot of salt because of the soy sauce that's in this. So you may not need to add a lot of seasoning such as salt or pepper to it. So once we get these in here, I'm just gonna let these fry up until they're nice and golden brown, and I'll do it in batches. So when we come back, I'll finish it up, and we'll have us some tasty General Chow's chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Good start. Uh, it's really sizzling back there right now, Chef Brian. <laughs> well, what's your mic is? So, how's that? Let me show you how to finish this up. So we'll finish cooking up this chicken here. Turn that off because it's plenty hot. I have some that's already done. I have the sauce that is done, and I have, you know, the rice that is finished. And all I'm going to do now is take some of this and toss it right with the sauce. Now, if uh, the chicken were all done, I could pour off the oil into a container and then wait for it to cool and discard of it appropriately. And then just pour the sauce in the wok and stir in the chicken. But, oh, you can do it right in the saucepan. This is the nice thing about making the sauce in advance. You can have you know, simple things like this. And learning how to make the sauce is really everything when it comes to any of the style of cooking be it Asian or French or European in general, it is always the sauce. So I'm gonna add some of that General Chow's chicken right there next to that rice. Add a couple of more pieces there. There we go. And let's go ahead and add on some of our salad. I just sliced up some cucumber and tomato and I'm gonna serve that on the side here so we have a nice fresh uh, taste to it and put that on there and I just sprinkled it with some seasoning uh, salt you know whatever you want and just let it kind of create its own dressing as it uh, the salt in there take your green onions sprinkle the green onions right on top of that for garnish and then I like to use uh, just some sesame seeds and, and finish on there if I can figure out how to open this up there we go sprinkle some sesame seeds on there and voila, we have an amazing General Chow's chicken. The recipe is featured right now on my website, cookingwithchefbrian.com. You can also go over to KUTV.com and grab the recipe. However you want to get it, go grab it and make it for dinner tonight. Mm. Yeah. Or lunch. That Sean's looks pretty fantastic. Sean's yeah. pretty excited about getting to share. Good. Well, Good. I think we all are. <laughs> all right, thanks.